infrastructure development, building on the massive tripling of the capital expenditure outlay in the past four years, resulting in huge multiplier impact on economic growth and employment creation, the outlay for the next year is being increased by 11.1% to 11 lakh 11,111 crore rupees. This would be 3.4% of our GDP. Railways. Three major economic corrid railway corridor programs will be implemented. These are energy, mineral, and cement corridor. Number two, port connectivity corridors. And number three, high traffic density corridors. The projects have been identified under the PM Gati Shakti to improve logistics efficiency and reduce cost. The resultant decongestion of the high traffic corridors will also help in improving operations of passenger trains, resulting in safety and higher travel speed for passengers. Together with dedicated freight corridors, these three economic corridor programs will accelerate our GDP growth and reduce logistic costs. Forty thousand normal rail bogies will be converted to Vande Bharat standards to enhance safety, convenience, and comfort of passengers. Aviation sector. The aviation sector has been galvanized in the past 10 years. Number of airports have doubled to 149. Rollout of air connectivity to Tier 2 and Tier 3 cities under Wudan scheme has been widespread. 517 new routes are carrying 1.3 crore passengers. Indian carriers. Indian carriers have proactively placed orders for over 1,000 new aircrafts. Expansion of existing airports and development of new airports will continue expeditiously. Metro and Namo Bharat. We have a fast expanding middle class and rapid urbanization is taking place. Metro Rail and Namo Bharat can be the catalyst for the required urban transformation. Expansion of these systems will be supported in large cities focusing on transit-oriented development. <laughs> 